This hotel near Washington's Dulles International Airport is hosting several prayer meetings to accommodate all the people who want to attend. Dr. Mohammed Yahya Alvi, a pulmonologist originally from Indian Kashmir, is one of the prayer leaders. I said how Ibrahim, he did not go by what everybody else was doing, which is idol worship, but he looked for his creator. So we living in a country like this, where there is kufr from all sides, should not be taken by that, but look for the truth. Many of the Muslims in America are first or second generation immigrants. Dr. Mohammed says it is very important for them to keep up their religious practices. We can pray and we can do the khutbah, we can say what we want to say, there's freedom. We can preach our religion, we can go around freely. That's a great thing, blessing. But the downside is, whole of the country, all the things going around are non-Islam, and some are anti-Islam, but at least they are non-Islam. As a result, our children, when they see what's going on around them, this is unfortunate. Unless we are sure that we bring them on the right path, they can go astray. For the many people here for Eid prayers, it was an important and joyous occasion. Anywhere the Muslim gather and do the prayer, it will be a celebration and everybody congratulate each other for the, for the Muslim holiday. And it's a great holiday for us, especially it's when people come, up, come back from the pilgrimage where it's the first house built for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I uh, grew up in here in America, so I remember back home too, but I, uh, it's nice here too to see the family and the, all the Muslim brothers and sisters and all the different clothes and different uh, cultures. It's very nice. The Muslims here from many countries. Exactly. There's a lot of different uh, Muslims from different countries, from different ethnic, from different religion. Everybody's here. Aziza Abdullah says that at her old school, she was sometimes teased for wearing the hijab. But her current public high school is very accepting. A lot of people who wear the hijab, and they know everything. They know Eid. Like, most of my friends, when I tell them, oh, I'm not coming to school on Tuesday, they're like, oh, Eid. So they know. So many people want to attend prayers that the large mosque that organized this meeting is holding almost 30 separate prayer meetings at six locations today. Our community is large. We serve about eight to 10,000 families. And also we want to take care of our neighbors. You know, if we organize this prayer at our main center, which can hold about 1,000 people, it'll disrupt the traffic and it'll bother the neighbors. So uh, it's, spirit, it's in, in, the, uh, in the spirit of Eid, being nice to neighbors, nice to people around us, nice to our community. We organize these prayers at multiple locations and multiple prayers at each location. And it also helps facilitate you know, the Eid prayer for other people. There are some people who are going to work today because it's a work day. And there are some people who want to come a little later with the family. So it accommodates everybody. Next weekend, many mosques and Muslim groups will hold Eid family festivals full of games and carnival rides for children. Prayer meetings like this are being held at locations all over the Washington, D.C. area. It's a sign of the growing presence of Muslims in American life. Happy Eid! Burton Boleg, KSA2, Washington.